everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming at you with my February favorites I have quite a lot here so um, and I don't want this video to be too long so I'll just get right on with it um, so first I'll start off with makeup um, then accessories and then fashion so um, the first one that I would like to show you guys is the Grey Lane Maxi Lash uh, waterproof mascara this basically is a over curl mascara slash lengthen slash volumizing mascara and that is one thing I look for in all my mascaras now is um, and the big one is for it to curl and stay curled um, I really like Dior's um, over curl or Dior show over curl but this here is really really good because the formula is really thick it stays on really really well and it doesn't like some waterproof mascaras I find still kind of um, you know smudge but this here doesn't do that um, all that much and especially with my eyelashes I have very straight stubborn lashes once I curl it with my um, with my lash curler it'll I can already see it tr starting to fall like back down to its straight you know normal way so but this here really really does capture the curl and make it makes it stay I actually have it on now I don't know if you could see but you can see that it's actually stayed up usually my lashes stay down this way um, you can see but yeah you can see that it's actually curled up a little bit um, and this is my go-to um, mascara only only problem with this is it's really really hard to take off with so you have to be very very gentle when taking it off I, re I recommend um, like the oiled the oiled up um, makeup remover where you have to shake um, the oil and the remover together I don't know what it's called but basically that um, next one here is from Kat Von D I wear this this is my go-to eyeliner but um, this month I've been doing a lot of just eye primer and a big thick line, wing tipped line of um, this eyeliner. It is a um, liquid, uh, liquid eyeliner, but I can assure you this is the easiest uh, eyeliner ever. And I'm not saying this because I love Kat Von D and... Um, you know, she's like my girl crush basically, but um, I really do swear by this. All of my friends and family uh, uses this, and they swear by it as well. Um, and this is the actually one, one and only eyeliner I find that actually has a um, really, really fine uh, brush tip. And it looks like it it would be felt it, but it's actually not. It's actually a, um, like, it's actually a brush. And that's how fine you can do kind of like, yeah, that is how fine it can get. Um, and when it's dry, it doesn't smudge. So, yeah, you, you it doesn't smudge. And I'm r rubbing really, really hard. It doesn't smudge that that easily so you you do and it's not waterproof as, at all so if you're the type of person that's not like waterproof um this is a good option as well um okay and the next one here is from anastasia beverly hills this is their brow wiz and mine is in the color uh graffiti so basically it's a dark gray and you know we all know that it's a twist up and there's the product there it's really really small and fine but um it really does the trick because you really do get a precision and i have it on right now you really do get a precision in your eyebrows and then it comes with a spoolie on the on the other end um i actually find that i do my eyebrows much faster with this rather than you know using a angled tip brush and you know trying to draw it on um this is a much more precise and um I go with granite because I find that is the best for people with jet black hair because um, my hair is jet black and I would look really really weird with brown eyebrows um, so yeah that's that's that and next one here is from Tom Ford and they 
I don't know what the line of this is, but it's basically a mini version of their normal sized lipsticks. And I think this is kind of new. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Um, it's the Rouge à Lèvres uh, line. It's called uh, number 60, Drake. Drake like the rapper. Um, and that's also why I got this. I'm not a fan of Drake, but because he's from Toronto and I'm from Toronto... I have a little bit more respect for him, but that is the color. It's not really showing up true to form, but it is more of like a mauve purple color, and I actually have it on right now, and I love it because it's 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 such a vibrant, beautiful color, but it doesn't you know make you look like a clown, basically, like not too much in your face, like how a bright fire engine red would look on me um sometimes i find it really really bright um and this here makes it look makes my um face like a little bit more more natural if, if i can you know say it correctly and the next one here is from hermes i know this is kind of recent but i'm going to add this anyways because i don't have any other perfumes that really stuck out to me other than my Henny Mori butterfly but this one here is called the Eau, Eau de Mandarin Ombre and it's basically the uh, Hermes' Cologne line. They have a whole variety of other ones that kind of have that citrus smell um, but this one here is strictly all citrus or mandarin smelling and I really really love this. I've as you can see in about two weeks I've already sprayed like so much of this stuff but mostly because it's it only lasts um two and a half hours to three hours on me um some people might it might be longer but i find this doesn't stay on as um, um stay on as long as i want it to be but that's fine because i am totally fine with spraying this all over me and the size of the bottle is actually pretty compact for a perfume usually perfumes are big and chunky this one here, it sits tall, it's very narrow, um, it's a really great um, sized bottle. Okay, and the next one here is not really like makeup related, but this is one thing that I've always had in my purse um, for all month of February, because I've been eating and drinking a lot of coffee and sushi lately, so I just think that my breath smells um, pretty bad after I consume those. So I always pop one or two Tic Tacs, tic -tacs in my mouth, or sometimes when I'm bored and I don't want to eat something, but I just want something like sweet or minty or whatever, um, I usually just take one or two of these and I'm, I'm good for, for the day. Um, okay, now moving on to accessories. So this necklace here, I absolutely love. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you I guess you would kind of guess what my style is. I'm not per se goth or, you know, punk rocker or anything, but I do have an edgy type of style and I love skulls. And the one and only designer we all know that, that uses skulls mainly throughout his designs is Alexander McQueen and this is I think it's called the poppy skull um poppy skull uh, necklace and I love his skull skull line and jewelry I think his jewelry is amazing it's kind of overpriced however I did get this on sale like in Christmas time or something like that and I absolutely love love this. Um, only issue is because it has a toggle like this, you have to just put the, the little T through. Sometimes it'll come undone and sometimes I'm scared to, to like, you know, wear this. But I only wear this when, when I know that this is going to be visible, like when I don't have my winter jacket on or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is, it's an, it's an absolute statement piece as well. Like, um, a lot of days I actually went into work, you know, looking very bland and whatnot, but I just put this on and it just completed the look. Like, it was that dramatic, um, for me. So, I really, really love this. And I hope to get another one. I wanted the ring, but this as a ring kind of looked weird on me, if you can you can tell it's too big and bulbous for my hands because I have small short hands but I hope to one day get a ring to kind of match him I guess so that's that. Okay.
Okay, and next one here um, is going to be shoes. I've only worn these two times because it's winter, but um, I think it was like early February-ish uh, in Toronto. We were really, really lucky, and we got like um, 15 degrees weather, and our winter was absolutely like nowhere to be found. So we didn't have snow, the floor wasn't wet or anything, so I decided to, you know, bring out my espadrilles from Chanel and these are in the black lambskin with the CC's uh, stitched and uh, CC's up top and I've only worn these uh, two times and they haven't worn out that bad actually I usually get the outer corners um, you know used up back here but no problem there and I absolutely loved wearing these with my leather jacket. It really, uh, you know, made me look very comfortable, but at the same time, um, really fashionable. And it, it went with my all leather slash <laughs> comfortable look, if you can say. Um, so I really, really love those. And the next one here, so moving on to accessories. Um, or actually, you know, I'll go on to this. Um, this here is my Balmain... Um, I, I really don't know what this dress is called, but I think it's called like a bandage block dress or whatever. But it's from Balmain and um, it's basically, I got this at, at the Hudson's Bay. They were having a huge sale where they were selling um, everything up to 80 per, 85% off. And Balmain was one of the high-end designers that they were um, having a sale on. And you probably saw me on Instagram wear this dress on Valentine's Day, and I absolutely love it. This is the best dress I've ever worn. It's super comfortable. I didn't, I didn't feel uncomfortable. I like nothing was poking at me. Nothing was, you know, hurting me or, or whatnot. I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. Only thing that kind of made me feel uncomfortable a little bit was, you know, after I ate. <laughs> you could kind of see like <laughs> my my stomach kind of you know bulging out a little bit from eating and indulging but I didn't care it was amazing I had to like wear spang so to hold everything in but I really love this dress I love this v-neck here it really adds um, a nice touch um, to the dress and it makes it adds that sexiness to it and I love the high straight um shoulder it gave me as you can see um it gave more of a elongated shoulder kind of like a mannequin's shoulders kind of thing because i have fairly small small shoulders but it kind of lengthened and kind of i don't know that if you're familiar with how how balmain makes um or you know make designs their dresses you know that they have that kind of boxy shoulder model look and that just gives you more of an hourglass uh frame and i really 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 liked that so this is it and also the other reason why i purchased this as well i didn't know this until i actually purchased this but apparently Nicki minaj wore this as well and even though Nicki minaj and my style are like complete opposites i actually kind of liked this on her and um yeah, it's, if you go on my Instagram, you'll be able to see how I wore this dress, and um, I wish at the time I wore this without leggings, but because it's winter time, it's still relatively cold, so I had to wear uh, leggings underneath it, but yeah, that's that. And, okay, and the next one here is from, uh, now, yeah. The next one here is from Louis Vuitton, and this here is my uh, Demi Graffiti Agenda, MM Agenda, and uh, so the middle-sized uh, agenda. And, you know, in a couple of my videos, I've said that this agenda would, is kind of a waste of money. I still do agree. Any, any type of agenda, any branded agenda would do. But, you know, because I spent so much money and because so much was happening this, uh, this month, I really, this really helped me keep, keep organized. You know, it, it helps me remind me, um, the upcoming events that, um, I was, that I, I planned to do with 
friends, family, boyfriend, work, and whatnot. Um, and I, I'm not going to show you inside because it's really, really personal. But um, I like how it gave like a whole outlook of the week, like what's happening over the week. It made me really feel organized um, about it. And you know what? I'll actually do a whole video on my agenda. Um, I won't give this t uh, like a whole review on it now, but I'll now that I've had it for, or I've actually used it for a full straight two months, um, I could do a full on review on the inserts and the actual agenda. Um, so it's that. Next one here is from. I'm actually gonna pull out my cards just for safety reasons. Um, but yeah, this here is my card case, slot card case from Fendi. Now, a lot of people have asked me why I opted to go for Fendi and not for a Chanel version. Simple reason for that is, um, the car, the number of card slots this, this little item has. It has three in the front, three in the back, and then one up top. Um, and I really, really liked the metal placking. A lot of the, the cards, card cases, like including from um, Givenchy, even Louis Vuitton, they, they didn't have this metal plaque. And I really, really like, um, you know, as much as possible, my items to have something here in the front, like metal, something 3D. Um, just because I think it, it makes the allure of this piece look a little bit better and a little bit more, um, it makes it stand out more, but the, the main reason was because it had a lot of card, card, uh, slots. And I have been able to use this a lot in the month of February where this was my only wallet. Yes, I had, like, other wallets and stuff like that, but this was, I found this to be so much easier to hold and carry. And, um, I actually used my mini pochette a lot as, um, its own little mini purse. So I just took this, took some other things in here, oops, and off I was. Like, today I was in Kensington Market just for, like, ten minutes, um, because my boyfriend wanted to go for a walk there. And, um, it was totally fine. I, I, I loved using this. Only con is it's hard to take your cards in and out because this this leather is really really hard to stretch as you can tell. So yeah, and the wear and tear is phenomenal. It's that. Okay, and the next one here I'm going to show is my Speedy 25 in the Damier Evan print. And uh, reason why I I loved using this bag is um, it holds everything. It's a slightly mini, small, medium sized handbag, but it can fit a ton. Um, I can fit like everything in here. I think if I were to use this as a weekend bag to go to my boyfriend's place, I totally would. However, it's it's only a top panel, so um, you know I have a tendency to. Put things on the shoulder a lot more often but i love using this for work i find this is a perfect perfect uh, work bag for me because um there are days where i get so tired of having a small handbag and then having a large like tote bag or whatever like for example having my oma bb and then having my louis vuitton um never full with me at the same time but this here it was like just quickly shove everything in there and go. So I really, really liked that. And the next and last piece I'm going to feature in this video is my Louis Vuitton twin set in the color Cerise in the Emprunt leather. reason why I love this piece or I use this piece a lot is because there's, I was really, really busy throughout this whole month, always running around um, having so many bags with me and this here just made it so much easier for me to go around town and do my thing. Um, it's very compact, it's light, and if there was a day where I didn't, like, I wanted to just have one bag, I could obviously just put this in my Neverfull and, um, it would take literally 
very little space in my bag so it made life so much easier and that's that's basically the whole theme uh, for this month is um, I used my my um, you know SLGs and handbags and whatnot just to make this month a little bit more smoother and everything so I was really yeah I was really scatterbrained this this month I was I felt really stressed out and everything but because I used all these things to help me guide me through these daily things I was going through um, it just made things go a little bit easier much more smoother and everything and yeah and I really really liked uh, this bag here was the ultimate favorite because um, it just made me hands-free and made me able to do stuff and also this is another bag that I love uh, for it being very very um, what's it called basically a grab-and-go type of type of bag no fuss bag it I don't know. I also did a full on uh, what can fit in this bag video. So please check that out. Um, even though this bag is super tiny, it does fit quite a lot. So, yes, that is practically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do any other, um, you know, <laughs> reviews. Uh, what's in my bag or any type of other ideas for my videos because I'm kind of running out um, So thanks guys for watching. I hope you have a great one. Bye. Bye